TypoLite is a masterpiece of software. Still, there is one thing that has been criticized a lot. Complex backend forms that require a lot of scrolling. Hi, I'm Leo Fair, the founder and main developer of TypoLite. Today, I'm going to show you the new collapsible two-column backend layout that will be available from version 2.7. Besides creating a new backend form layout, I have spent more than three weeks overworking all language files and finally removing deprecated stuff that was only supported for backward compatibility. That's why I have named version 2.7 the Spring Cleaning Release. So what's the deal with the new collapsible two-column layout? As you see, the input fields are now arranged in two columns and every group has a headline telling you what the fields are for. Developers can decide which sections will be collapsed by default, so the user doesn't get confused by all the optional stuff. If you expand a section by clicking its headline, TypoLite remembers that setting and keeps the palette open, even if the page is being reloaded. TypoLite is also clever enough not to hide error messages. If you, for example, enter a wrong email address and then collapse the section, the backend engine automatically re-expands it when you try to save your changes. Of course, TypoLite also recognizes mandatory fields and makes sure that they are never inside a collapsed section so you don't forget to fill them in. Collapsible sections and two-column forms are certainly the most notable changes, yet there is another innovation that kind of works more in the background. You might have noticed that the explanation below each field is now always one line high, even if the text doesn't actually fit in. If you hover over it, you will notice that the cursor changes and after a second, the explanation is shown as a tooltip. This way, even long explanations do not break the backend layout and they don't annoy advanced users who don't really need them anyway. Now, although the new layout highly improves the usability of TypoLite, some people might prefer the old backend forms, probably because they're used to them or don't expect their clients to put up with the new ones. For these purposes, I have made the new backend layout completely optional, so each user can deactivate it in his personal settings and then sees the old form layout just like it used to be. So, that's just one of the things you can expect from TypoLite 2.7. For more information about the release date and how to adapt your own extensions to the new layout, please visit the project website. Thanks for watching this video and thanks for using TypoLite.